Gang, we got a sellout alert on that Ooh, Stay Trashy tour. Wee. Look out. We're adding shows. We're selling out shows. We're adding city. Bring the squad. It's a good time, gang. Mix of stand-up comedy. And, of course, we play the little AYG with the crowd. Come out and see us. Yeah, the big man ant lion starting in March. We're going to be in Baltimore, Virginia Beach, Richmond, Oklahoma City, Ooh. Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas. All right. Austin, Texas. Sold out. Second show out of Get those tickets. Get those ticks. Then in April, New Haven, Connecticut, Burlington, Vermont. Then in May, we're going to Tampa, Florida. That sold out. We added another one. Let's go. Then we're going to Dania Beach, Florida. Then we're going to Raleigh, North Carolina. Then in May, we added Louisville, Kentucky. Get those tickets. Ooh, Kentucky. Then in June, we have Cleveland and Columbus. Guys, tickets are moving. Don't snooze on it. Let's party. We'll see you there. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Hey, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they're going to be classy. Yeah. They're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here in Aunt Tootie's basement. Little yeah. update on Tootie. Oh, no. She wasn't feeling good last week. I heard. Right? She had gone in for a little procedure the week before. Uh-huh. Turns out. They left something in her. Oh, boy. Sunglasses. <laughs> Anesthesiologist left a pair of sunglasses the pair in there. Of Ray-Bans must have fell off the top no, of No, the head. fucking big ones, oh. the novelty ones. The, the big ones. They left them in there. Uh-oh. They took them out. She's feeling better. She's on the mend. Okay. They're talking about trying to keep it quiet. Uh, so I don't want to say what hospital she was sure. in. Sure. All right. But there might be a little bit of a payday coming our way. Uh oh! And she said, if it all works out the way she wants it to, uh -huh. she might throw an addition on the back of the house on tooties. Maybe make a little room for the boys Ooh. out there. That's what she's saying. Who knows? Now she's still on a she lot. She was of probably searching for perks, if you <laughs> ask me. She's still on a lot of pain pills, so she's <laughs> making know. a lot of promises. Yeah, I'm sure. She also told me that she's going to start dating Alex Trebek. So I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from across the table. This is a family episode. Uh -huh. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. And I'll tell you what, right now, I don't care who knows it, my best pal in the whole wide uh -huh. world. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, what's up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As sure. always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe Go on ahead. iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are skyrocketing, baby. Fucking <laughs> well over 115,000 over there on Look YouTube. Look out. Use tube. Uh, and then obviously, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my, I, I don't want to speak for the group or my family. My favorite website. Sure. Is www.porn. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say XNXX is probably still my number Patreon. one. Patreon.com slash are you baby. garbage, baby, where the rubber hits the road, the bread gets buttered, Good the times whole nine over there. yards. We have a bajillion, two bajillion hours of content. You heard it here first. Bad you got intended. hard feelings. You got the Disney vids. You got everything. Both Disney vids are up. Epcot of us drinking around the world. That just dropped about two, three days ago. Mm -hmm. Us getting sloshed over there. And it looks like, I don't want to predict anything, we're on our way to Indianapolis for the Indy 500. I mean, that's happening anyway. Yeah. I already got the tickets. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> Either we're going to film it or not. I'm going. But we're real close to hitting that goal. We can't thank you enough, and we love you to death, and we appreciate you. And speaking of appreciating, how about a nice quick shout-out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man. Yeah. Makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos. Crosses the T's, dots the I's. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, dudes? How what you up, feeling, pal? I'm great. That was a real nice intro. Do you owe me money? That was I very know. nice. Something's <laughs> up. No, it's not. It's not what he texted me yesterday, by the way. <laughs> Piece of shit. Nah, I love you, buddy. Love you too, pal. Here for a family episode, Kip. What's cooking, kid? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that means H. Foley's got zilch. Oh, the uh, subtitles just read, I got nothing. Uh -huh. I heard you just got back from Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh, man. They still speak Spanish down there? What's I, going on I down there? Uh, <laughs> so you got a dog recently. Yeah, man. I hear you're getting older. What? <laughs> You know what I saw in Hawaii that uh, that made me think it's it's pretty trashy, which I never put it together. If you got a T-shirt with the skeleton on it, 
Oh yeah, <laughs> that's bad. That or like the boot, like the better body, like the oh, six pack or dude. whatever. Unless it's right near Halloween, that's tough. Rocking the skeleton black tee is a real tough. That's look. a tough look. I got some. It's a little more hard feelings esque, but it was one of I those. Like it. it was one of those moments. I'm at the I'm at the pool bar, not the pool bar. Like yeah, the outdoor pool bar, not the swim up pool bar. Which are they? They're trashy, right? Yeah, everyone's peeing in there. I love them. Oh, man, you get me a good pool bar, dude. If there's if there's a stool underwater too, sometimes they have that. Sure, <laughs> you just post it up <laughs> like Aquaman. Fucking <laughs> 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 doing underwater beers, kid. Sitting there chatting up a clownfish. Huh? Uh, I'm big on uh, my- on that. <laughs> really? All right. Uh, more like an orca. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm big on personal space, right? Uh-huh. I like my personal space. Uh, and sometimes, you know, when you're mixing with these different characters that you meet at a resort or whatever, this guy, I'm at the pool bar enjoying my time. I got the birds at the spa. I got to be real drunk to talk to strangers. Oh, I didn't talk to anybody. At a hotel I, a little, I did a little like bit in a hot yeah. tub. I was chatting off. Chatting Where up, are you? Chatting up, a, chatting up a nice family from D.C. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this serious? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's her deal? Was there kids in the hot tub? No. I don't think kids should be allowed in a hot tub. Too sexy? No, it's just, it's, what are we doing? That's an adult environment. Of course. Get out of here. Sure. You don't see me in the kiddie pool, unless I'm real drunk. <laughs> <laughs> unless I can't find a bedroom, you know fall, what I mean? Fall in there, jump in there for two seconds and hop out. Um. So uh, I'm at the pool bar. I'm hanging out, having a couple of cervezas, as you will. Sure. A couple of coronas or whatever. There you go. And um, guy next to me. Gets right out of the pool, right? Like, from underwater, out of the pool, doesn't grab a towel, doesn't blot off, doesn't do nothing. Uh-huh. Comes over to me. Now he's like, he cho- He could have went a little further, but he's like right on my side arm to the point where his wet arm is touching my arm. And Wait, I'm, where are you? I'm at the pool bar, like at the bar outside, uh, okay, like next to the pool, right, not gotcha. in the pool. All right. And he comes up, so he's like getting my, my arms like wet. So I'm like, ah, come on. You know, I just kind of like shift a little bit. Ugh. Dude, and then the grossest thing that ever has happened to me in my whole entire life. He was like, yeah, can I get, you know, whatever, two of these, one of these, and a margarita. And the guy goes, yeah, where are you sitting? Like, I'll send it over. And he goes, he has long hair, and he goes right over there and turned his head, and his ponytail turned into, like, a water gun. Ugh. And, dude, all in my mouth. Oh, dude, just, I could still feel it on my lips. It Ugh. was. Taste his conditioner. I was ordering shots of tequila <laughs> stat to fucking burn out whatever he's got you on You say there. something to him? I didn't. What am I going to say? Straighten him out. <laughs> hey, long hair, first and foremost. <laughs> I thought it was Toby for a second. It looked like a wet rat, this fucking guy. By the way, there's something. Somebody posted that picture of you as a little kid on the uh, your roller coaster. Your dad. It was his dad. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. First of all, your dad looked like he could fuck he looked, mess somebody up. He looked jacked. Jacked. He's like, this is Toby's first roller coaster ride. I'm like, is that? I'm like, that kind of looks like him if, if your dad was on HGH. <laughs> he looked Tony Soprano. Got a, got a little winstrel in him or something. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Hey, dude, the most adorable kid I ever seen in my life. Little redhead, look at you. Yeah, I was a cute kid. Whew. Freaking out. I had a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got that picture framed in my house. There you go. That's pretty. The roller coaster. The two kids behind you are perfectly uh, early 2000s. Oh, they're like goofing night. off. They're like fake they're punching fake each, fighting other. each other. I yeah. never did that. Oh. I, I thought ne- I'd be testing my luck. I'd we be ne- getting too cocky to try something for the camera. Yeah, fall I out. Tell you, that's how your fucking head gets taken <laughs> that's off. That's how you end up, end up on the local uh-huh, news. Uh-huh. Not doing that. Uh-uh. All they found was his keys. That oh, was no. me on Space Mountain with that GoPro. I was like, I'm going to lose my fucking oh, arm. Jesus Christ. Uh, the, the, the roller coaster photo is pretty trashy. We, my mom never sprung for it. That was a ripoff. No, we never did. She would get somebody to take it from, like, it... Sneak in and get down there. That was it. She well, wasn't paying for we, that. They, they, they jam you up at like Disney or I don't know if Disney, but like places if you go and try to take a picture of it, they go, no pictures, no pictures. They like jump in there. They want their, they want so their it's, cut. That's a dying market right there. You know what I mean? I mean, how, we have full video on the thing. Who needs sure. a, a static shot? You know what I mean? Yeah. I got a three camera shoot going on the log flume. That and the, um, that reminded me <laughs> when I. The producers went to that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a. All right. That reminded me of, um, did you have any uh, fake uh, sports covers 
as a kid. What's a sports cover? Like a cover of like Sports Illustrated. Like a Wheaties box or whatever? Yeah. Maybe in like T-ball. Like <sighs> very young. Uh, I thought I was going to get drafted by the Yankees. The sports, the fake Sports Illustrated, that was like an extra five bucks. One year, my mom sprung for it. Man, I used that to try to buy beer. <laughs> Dude, sitting there ready to roll. Sir, do you have ID? I'm on the cover of All Star Magazine, sir. Yeah, it wasn't Sports no, it was Illustrated. Never sports Illustrated. It was something like that. It was that. Slugger <laughs> Quarterly or something. <laughs> No, for oh, sure, dude. That was that was that was a very humbling year because I had that done. We had this big picture day. Shout out to Whitpaint Township. They used to fucking they used to really put on a nice uh, picture day and start of the baseball season. Mm-hmm. They get, get baseball cards. Sure, they had were them big. made up. My yeah, uncle, yeah, yeah. all right, uncle was the there coach. A couple, any rookie rookie year H Foley's floating around out there. There's a couple, but here's what he did. He put on the back utility player. My own uncle. I remember I had to he go. He knew you weren't a star. I had to go home and ask my dad. I'm like, what's a utility player? Yeah, best six man. <laughs> utility. Most improved. I would have rather had right field. Yeah. Or manager. <laughs> Something equipment guy. Something. Uh-huh. Utility player. I just got all the snacks that you eat as your stats. <laughs> 14 orange slices, two cans of Coke, and a chili dog. Kid will crush through a pack of sunflower seeds. <laughs> this is our garbage time, kid. Dude, <laughs> brutal. Yeah, that's tough. I remember one time I was getting my picture taken. I probably, st- I was young. T ball esque, maybe right, like maybe, because what did it go for you? When T ball for us, coach pitch, coach pitch, kid pitch. Yeah, right? that's how we did it. And I tell you what, in the 80s, those dads used to put a little pepper on the yeah, ball. Yeah, a little mustard on it, a yeah, little stank. Yeah. They didn't care. I remember my my dad, I think it was my dad, was thrown to me. And I'm like, give me a couple fucking. How about a grapefruit? <laughs> yeah, give me a couple of hoagies right down the plate. What the fuck is, what are you, what are you throwing knuckleballs <laughs> he's, at me? He's throwing at you? <laughs> That's my plate, Kippy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, give man. me a fucking, you know, give me a school bus coming right down the center lane here. He was taking shit out on me. I remember. I, I don't know if it was him or so. I remember someone. I remember being like, buddy, fucking this is, a, this is a friendly game here. I remember I lost the championship for our team. Um, it was Little League and Wilkes-Barre. Uh, shout out to the North End Little League Association. It was pretty top shelf. We had like an awesome. We had like an actual. Uh, field that had like a fence and everything. We had the snack bar. We had the umps. We had the the kids announcing up there. Yeah, we were playing on a dead end. Well, the one that the, was like when we moved to Whitpain, it wasn't it wasn't that it wasn't that locked in. It was like this was like a like a baseball field. It yeah, was nice. But uh, I understand. What I understand what you're putting down here, big guy. I had just moved up from whatever whatever you know. I don't know six and under to. I was the youngest of the group. So okay. it was like, let's say 10 through 8 or something like that. And I was 8. And we were playing in the championship game. And somehow it came down to me. Two outs, kid on the mound. And I lunched it. Yeah. Brutal. That's tough. Kids did not hold back at their disappointment. In me. Really? Oh, even my brother was making fun of me. That's yeah, tough. You blew it, this and that and the you other. You call thing. yourself you never had the makings of a varsity athlete. Oh, it sucked. Yeah. I remember but I was I remember standing for uh uh the pictures, right? Uh-huh. And uh guy made me take my shirt off. I never yeah. took a good one of those either. No. I had my I was hold I guess I was holding the I whatever. Hold I was the bat upside down. I, I was holding it raw. I had it on my wrong shoulders. I remember being like sick. And the guy being like, what's this kid's deal or whatever? <laughs> and I was like, buddy. Real utility player yeah, vibes. What the fuck? You're breaking my stones here? How am I going to get on the cover of this fucking all-star magazine? Yeah, and I remember he was like, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm like, I don't know, dude. Because you're sh- holding the tennis racket. I just shit my pants. <laughs> fuck you mean, dude. I can't even read. Oh, dude. Yeah, take this Frisbee. And go out to the parking lot. Man, I was always jealous of the kids that, like, look good in those pictures or, like, the stuff fit right. None of that stuff ever fit me right. The hat was always goofy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough look. I feel like your pants would have been different colors from your shirt. <laughs> Kid playing in sweatpants. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I fit them in the traditional sense. You shit them in the traditional sense, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, I had like grown men stirrups on. They went up to like my nuts. Yeah, it was not a good look. Yeah, it's a tough. I I mean, I I remember being so lost in like t as like a five or like very young. You know what I mean? Where you're like just kind of go up and whatever, and being like, I don't know what's going on. You're running the third. Nor do I fucking care, man. This shit stinks. Back to play my video games or something. What the fuck? Bump a smoke from the oven. <laughs> I know. Hey, what do you tell? What do you do? What do you do during the day? <laughs> I got good bennies. <laughs> I want to talk shot with some real men. You know what I mean? Pick it up side work. Huh? <laughs> yeah, not fucking doing this bullshit. Fucking tiddly winks over here. I'll say this though. I know uh, cooler technology has gotten better, but do you remember those igloo jugs of water that had the little thing on top and they were like metal on the inside? Metal on the inside. Yeah, dude, this thing would put out. It, it, you could taste the field on it a little bit in the water. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? In the water. I don't know why I said it like that. But, man, those things would produce screaming cold water in the seventh inning. Yeah. Be all right. I don't even. I remember the first time we got into kid pitch, this kid was throwing smoke. <laughs> and I was like, "There's." I was struggling with the T, buddy. What the fuck are we doing here? Hey, you got fucking, you know. <laughs> the only kid to strike out in T-ball. <laughs> the last time I played kid pitch, the other kid hit A week so ago. Ma- <laughs> <laughs> that blue team was pretty good. <laughs> the, the other kid hit so many players on our team that we had to forfeit. Really? <laughs> yeah, dude. Smash me in my elbow. It sucked ass. Quick, I- my son's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a doctor here? <laughs> the elbow. Oh, man. Uh, They're prepping you for surgery. Well, Yikes. But this is a family episode, gang. We're here to answer your garbage questions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you, as you know, when you join a Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. It's just the best way to do it. and Because that Patreon's a gosh darn party over there. They said that a million times. It's you know a good it? time. Uh, this one's from Noah Banks. $10 homie. Never have one red. Shout out to it. Is it garbage to drive barefoot? I like to feel the engine through my toes. It's so funny you mentioned that. I respect it. It's I, trashy, though. I love it, too. I do it. It's illegal. I believe it might be, yeah. Yeah. Because I think you can miss and catch a toe on the brake or the gas. It's your shoe can slip behind the brake, so then you can't stop. What? That's why it's illegal? That's but correct. But that, that would no. mean it'd be illegal to take my shoes off while I'm driving. I... In the summer, I'll get into the car without shoes on. I think it's just the heat. Don't want you to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Because it's all right. Thanks a lot, Bin Laden. <laughs> Fucking take that from me, too. thought this country was based on freedom. It's all based on the Patriot Act. <laughs> no partying. You can read your text and you're not allowed to drive with shoes Yeah, it's on. illegal to drive barefoot, I think. But it I is it is fun. I think I've mentioned it before. I remember a girl in I was probably in college. Freshman year or whatever, it was a summer, like one of those summers, you're like back home, and this girl would drive topless. Really? Oh, wait, wait. My buddy was seeing her. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? And at night, she would drive topless. Wait, why? I, well, I followed her for about 40 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get in front of her? <laughs> Trying to cause, I almost rear-ended her. <laughs> she would drive topless? Uh-huh. Just let the girls out, I don't know. I mean, you know, you got to... You know, I, you got to set on you. Drive I'm topless. At, yeah, you like to do stuff topless. Even even in my best shape, I never drove with a shirt off. I don't know. You had to be ripped to pull that off. I don't even shower with my <laughs> shirt off. What are you talking about? They're in a winter coat. Uh, wow, really? Uh-huh. It's not illegal. What? It's totally legal to drive with, without shoes. My dad told me it was illegal my whole life. Yeah, yeah it's a common misconception. Mm-hmm. There you go. Really? Yeah. That's it. Shoes off, everybody. Yeah, no kidding. We're partying. Driving with my big toe. There is something I like. You, I split my toes on the pedals. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I don't use my whole foot. Sometimes I'll just use my big toe. Sure. You feel real powerful. Yeah, it feels good. Back to the topless broad. Sure. <laughs> I never saw her again. Did you never. Did you, she wait, was around. I don't. He like. Wait, I, would she do it when other people were in the car? Other girls. I remember we were driving home from the pub one night. Uh huh. And we pulled up next to them. And he's like, I my I was with my buddy, and she was with her. I forget. And he goes, I bet you she's topless. And we pulled up. And Shores, you know, I wish I was in a fucking semi truck, so I had a fucking so, so, so I had a so I had a vantage point from up top. Where's a GoPro? But I was in a lowered Civic, so <laughs> where's a, where's a GoPro when you need one, huh? No kidding. Yeah. That's pretty spicy. Uh huh. I used to think it was real sexy when uh, girls would drive with their knee. 
Sure. I always loved that. Mm-hmm. He just one guy on high school used to drive with her knee. <sighs> Man, she was all right, too. Yeah. Shout out to her. Sure. No, I respect it. Um, this one, I don't know if we've ever talked about. This is from Benny B. Cups. <laughs> Very appropriate. Speaking of which. Ever try to break a Guinness World Record? <laughs> <laughs> that is trashy. We know. Oh, oh uh, Katie Nolan is a... Guinness World Record holder? Isn't she? I think so. We talked about that on the episode. She holds a Guinness World Record, or did. Huh. Yeah, buttons. Get on that. So does uh, Mans, I believe. Didn't Mans say? Yeah, Burt's boy Mans. Yeah, John shout out Mann. to him. Shout out to John Most Mann. donuts stacked in a tower while blindfolded. Katie? Yes. Really? What? Seven. What? Seven? Get me a blindfold and fully get your donuts out of the car. <laughs> I'm not, giving you, I'm not giving you my good donuts for that. I'm not giving you my emergency donuts. <laughs> Those are for emergencies only. <laughs> the bakery's closed. She uh, stacked donuts blindfolded. Yes. Huh. Seven? Yep. Really? I think man's is like the deepest, deepest self- cold water dive. Yeah, it's something, something like wild. Uh, it, there's, something there's no donuts involved. I know that. Something real. Heavy. It's like he like free dove in Antarctica or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something wild. Mm-hmm. Kip, let's talk about Indochino, baby. Indochino. Let's talk about looking fly and fresh, baby. Mm-hmm. Valentine's Day was just here and gone. Yeah. Probably used your one suit. I know I could have used an Indochino suit for the wedding I was just at. I embarrassed myself. Jammed up. Walking around like I was in a bowling league or mm-hmm. something like that. Gang, do yourself a favor. Get over to Indochino. You got custom-made suits, blazers, jackets, no tailoring involved. You do it all on the website. Pick your measurements. They hook it up. You're looking fly and fresh in no time. Yeah, guys, they were nice enough to send old Kipperino to tree custom nice shirts. I feel like a bajillion dollars walking around there. I feel like Sam Yam and Jack Conti walking around there in my... Mark Cuban or somebody. You're no Jack. Conner, my <laughs> uh, every suit is made to your exact measurements, and you can customize every detail. Create a suit that fits for you with your style perfectly. They offer uh, different fabrics, options for lapel shape, custom monograms, and more. The best part: Indochino suits start at just four forty nine, and shirts from eighty nine bucks. That. Uh, Indochino also offers completely custom fitted shirts and casual wear. Get a wardrobe personalized to your style and taste without ever spending a fortune. Hmm. Uh, if you're ringing in 2023 with wedding bells ahead, start planning your custom look with Indochino. Go to Indochino.com. Use the code GARBAGE to get 10% off any purchase of $3.99 or more. That's Indochino, I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com. Promo code GARBAGE. Do it. Kippy, it's freeze pipe, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Rip tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the bangers. Talking about getting faced. Uh-huh. And not coughing up a lung when you're doing it. Sure, we've all ripped tubes uh-huh. and caught the cough. Sure. Burned the throat. Embarrassed yourself at a party. Yeah, in front of chicks. There's chicks here. What are you doing? You look like a bubble gummer. Uh-huh. With freeze pipe, you don't got to worry about that because it cools the smoke about 300 degrees there. Yeah. Keep it in the freezer. Top quality. Break it out when company shows up mm-hmm. or you got a fresh bag on the way. <laughs> Put it on ice, daddy. <laughs> Kippy's getting Ooh. lifted. I want to talk to Samson. <laughs> I like my pulls on the rocks. Don't uh-huh. know about you, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> guys, the hype is uh, real. <laughs> I'm high right now, no, dude. That. I, I smoke my heaters out of a <laughs> freeze pipe. Um, just pop it in the freezer for an hour. The smoke passes through, and it's so cold, it's easy on the lungs to have a little toky smoke. Whatever you want to smoke. There the you hype go. is real with 4.4 star rating over 1,100 reviews. Free, freeze pipe has been trusted by thousands of Americans for over five years. So for premium smoking experience at everyday great prices and free shipping, visit thefreezepipe.com and use code GARBAGE for 10% off your next order. That's the... T-H-E, freezepipe.com, code garbage to save 10%. Shop today. Your lungs and throat will thank you. Do it. Mm-hmm. But I do remember, I mean, we uh, having that book as a child, the Guinness World Record book. I just remember and the two fat like, guys on the motorcycle. Uh, trying to find something I could break in my house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like some sort of, not something I could break, a record I could break as an eight-year-old. You know what I mean? I had given up on my t-ball career. And watch, I was trying to be famous. Watch the most episode of Family Matters. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit here as long as it takes. I'm going for the forehead record. <laughs> most goldfish eaten in one sitting. <laughs> Kids consume 97 dinner rolls today. <laughs> Good 
Lord. I always thought that was a, a process. I thought somebody had to come. They and- do, yeah. Somebody from Guinness has to be. There used to be a show, like the Guinness Book of World Records Is it, show. Does Guinness own that, the beer? Yeah. Are they connected? I got a yes and a no. Well, so for the listener, new guy Luke's in here editing. <laughs> and uh, I can't have I can't have two guys off camera to give me two different answers. <laughs> It's like a third base coach. <laughs> I, don't know, Drunk. I don't know whether to steal or leave. Um, uh, there used to be a show, Guinness Book of World Records, where people come on and break records on camera. I don't remember that. I do. Or it was part of a show. I remember Unsolved Mysteries. They were always like so serious. They'd be like, a guy would be there, and like you know, somebody would be stacking donuts, and he was acting like it was the most important thing in the I world. I remember the guy with the most bees on him. It was st- it was started by Guinness and then it's separated into different entities into 2001. Huh. But yeah, I mean corporate buyout, huh? <laughs> Merger and acquisition, my kind of I remember the long fingernail lady. Oh, that was a guy. That was a guy in like Nepal. Oh, and he would keep it in a black satin bag. Oh, that thing probably stunk around. <laughs> Breaking those things out on a date. <laughs> the widow maker. But he was like looked at as like royalty. It was like, you know, some like sort of magical thing that he yeah. was able to do that. I remember that. The two fat guys on a motorcycle. The tall guy was famous. There was a black and white photo of a tall guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He didn't look healthy. The, no. eye, the eye bulge lady. She two-timed with Ripley's Believe It or Not as yeah. well. Yeah. She was also in a pledge commercial, I think. A lot of people can do that, though. I think I knew a kid in high school that could do one of them. Also, to me, if anybody in my family tried to... They'd be made fun of. Oh, uh, well, not even that. would be like, who do you think you are? Hold the world record. You owe child support. Right? I like, did as a kid. They think... start bringing up your real personal shit. <laughs> <I> did... <laughs> Small dick bastard going to stack these goddamn donuts. I did as a kid think uh, that that came with unlimited wealth and clout. Oh, it's not. I thought you got millions of dollars for yeah, it. Yeah, you're the tallest guy. Somebody should be paying you. Yeah, something. Uh huh. Not you the find case. that it's only like trade shows and stuff. Yeah, like you get that. like a piece of paper. We'll have to ask Katie what she got for it. I think got we any- probably did. Probably nothing. A little cash, maybe. No, I don't think so. Shout out to Katie Nolan. She's the best. She's great. Uh, all right, this one's from TJ. Have you or anyone in your family ever been a member of a band's official fan club? Which I do they still exist that much? Probably not with like. Twitter and, you know, Instagram and stuff like that. I don't know. We no. should join one. No. Why? I don't know. Come on. We could be on the board. That was always we get look- to meet Taylor Swift or that something. That was always looked down upon. Anybody that was uh, in the fan club back in the day. Well, that was also something you had to like. That was the aunt that never got married. Sure. Yeah. That was something you had to like fill out a form and send in. Pay- back in the day. Now you could join online. Sure. That makes sense. Sure. But like. Back in the day when, like, the official fan club was a thing, that was a little kooky. Yeah, I don't know what you got for it. I don't know. Yeah, we would never. Uh, that was always, like, that's how they get you type thing. Sure. That's how they viewed that. Yeah. Because it's like, you don't know fucking Madonna or whatever. Yeah, it's not really Steven Tyler that's sending you that message. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, let's see. This one's from Jordan. $10, homie. Never had one read. Is it garbage to go to the bathroom for the sole purpose of wiping? I remember I saw my dad do that at the gym one time. Just went into the stall to wipe, and I was like, whoa. Just clean up a little bit? I guess, yeah, I was having a rough day. Yeah, I've been there. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little slippery. Mm-hmm. You have a sixth sense about those things? Sure. Hey, you get older. That's the kind of stuff that you do. <laughs> As a little kid, you're probably walking around with doo-doo in your pants. Sure. Go in there and clean up like a gentleman. That's tough. That's why a lot of people do, like, uh, you know, the wipes. Which I'm not a big fan of. Luke travels with the dude wipes. I, I went to his bathroom to steal his toothpaste. You do. And it's all in Florida. The, not to get too detailed, but do you follow up with a dry wipe after you use them? I He's feel like he got says, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just just those. It's like it's like you're in a pool or something. Real slippery. It Not feels, a fan of those. Yeah, I don't know. It's, and I didn't like them back. Feels in like the- my butt's turned on when I do it. <laughs> if you don't dry it off, it's fucking slipping off the seat over here. I feel like a whore. <laughs> Get your ass to church. That's where you need to go. I know. Clean yourself. I gotta up. go to confession after this thing. <laughs> Kids wide open back there. Uh, yeah, I feel too uh, <laughs> different. It, I should say. it only happens after you have a couple of drinks, too. I, I normally don't do this. <laughs> Kids loose as a caboose. <laughs> I didn't like the baby ones either back in the day. What? They smelled like baby. Sure. <laughs> sure. No good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, all right. Let's see here. 
This is from Mo. Is it garbage to have someone in your family get divorced only then to remarry that same person? I've seen this before. I've seen that before. I have a buddy whose parents have been married like maybe four times. But you go through the the point where he was like, leave me out of whatever you're doing. I don't care. You go through the whole pro- separation. I understand. I know couples that that still aren't divorced. Sure, just separated. Mm-hmm. Which I like that arrangement. It's very old school. Are they together though? Like, do they still canoodle? Uh they they were separated and then got back together, and I think they separated again. But yeah, the door is still open. But isn't it expensive to go through that process of divorce and all that stuff? You yeah. got like a passion though, baby. Keep coming back for it, man. I love you. I love you one day. I hate you the next. Crazy love. Yeah. Yeah. That seems like it's a um, costly and a lot of time. But also after the first one, I think it's like, yeah, we'll get divorced again. Maybe we'll get back. Like, you, I feel you're 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 more hesitant. You're more ready to pull that trigger. You already got the lawyer's number. I know. Everything's all in. Yeah, just do it again. Bill us. I worry about that with me because I'm 47 now. Like my wedding, it's going to be sad, isn't it? Getting married at like 50? Mm-hmm. Can't have like a big wedding with that, right? Maybe it's a little different now. I feel like we have to do it in like the Poconos <laughs> or something like that. Sure. I don't know. In a champagne hot tub? Yeah, because I remember as a kid, there would be like a second marriage. And I remember being at the wedding like, what, what, what this guy's an adult. What are we doing here? Sure, it is weird, I guess, because you're older, not get you're older getting married for the first time. Which gives me a little bit of a pass, right? I don't know. That's it's what I'm the, saying. It's a little uncharted. It's un- the sure. wedding. It's a little uncharted territory, though. Yeah. Because how many 40, let's say it happens this year. Yeah, like. The, like the, how many 47-year-olds yeah, are getting the, married for the first time? Is the priest going to say you have your whole life in front of you? <laughs> hey, you gotta, he takes it, he looks you up, and they got about three years on you. <laughs> I better I better wrap this up. To have and to hold until death does he part. <laughs> <laughs> to have and to hold for the next two weeks. Through yeah. sickness and in sickness. That's nothing. All right. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, they're getting the they're getting married in the divorce, and that's yeah, that's pretty tragic. As a child of uh, <laughs> what's that fourth wedding like? I don't know. Like that's I guess it's just paperwork at that point. Yeah, you can't be doing the whole thing. You can't be expecting gifts from anybody. No, you I think, still want cash. I think in my 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 friends' instance, it was just very like legally. Yeah, they just legally went and did it again. Although I'm not opposed to the separate, the married but separate lives. I also like that. That's a good look, though. What do you she mean? She lives here. He lives there. They're together, but they live separate lives. That's very That's old not school married. Hollywood. Legally, it is. In the eyes of the church. Well, okay. You know? But what's the point of that, though? Just I don't to know. say my wife? I don't know. So that I won't disappoint my mom. Yeah. Maybe. She don't give a shit. Is she going to give you I'm away? Not say- no, I'm not saying me. Give me away. <laughs> <laughs> Better use your dude wipes that night. <laughs> <laughs> give me away. I didn't mean me. <laughs> Give me away. <laughs> Comes down smoking a heater. <laughs> Never thought this would happen. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> um, that's funny. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. This is Isaiah. Oh, Isaac with a K. Shout out to I S A A K. I ain't never seen that. You do lunch a couple of names every once in a while. Well, I, uh, dude, I S A A K. I S A A K. I get halfway through that. I'm thinking it's I. Uh, what I say, Isaiah? Yeah, I can see that. And the K looks like an H. Yeah. Come on. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I don't like those spelling things where parents can try to get creative mm-hmm. with the spelling. Isaac. I S. I S. Here we go. A C. Should be Isaac, right? Unless you wanted to use the traditional Hebrew spelling, which is I S A A K. Yeah. Oh, is it really? All right. With the tribe, fair enough. <laughs> Old a, school. He's a chosen one, my man. Shout out to him. <laughs> I'm not going to question the authorities. <laughs> Can't fight City Hall, you know what I mean? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Uh, I thought it was C. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that is. The only Isaac I know is Isaac Hayes, too. Yeah, I don't think he's spelling it with the I-S-A-A-K. 
Shout out to Isaac Hayes. Uh, is it garbage to have to hold the TV antenna in place for the entire Super Bowl game, including commercials, because your family doesn't have cable, so you have to watch the game through a mirror? What? Through a mirror? Man, these guys, they are biblical. These, this, That's crazy. Dude, if you still got an antenna. I don't even think, are they still broadcasting that? This has to be as a kid, yeah. I would assume. Uh, Do they still broadcast TV like that with an antenna? I, I thought, think yes. But no, remember they went back to, you had to go, they were selling that, they were hawking that box for a while, the federal government. Yes, because they couldn't stuck, use the antenna couldn't anymore. Couldn't use the rabbit ears anymore. So this had to be as a kid. You yeah. can get a digital antenna, I think. Yeah. So no one's using rabbit ears. That just anymore. sounds like it gives you cancer. I don't yeah. trust that at all. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't think anybody's using an antenna anymore. Mm-mm. Right? Uh, no, but my, my landlord told me to get one. My old my old Greek landlord was like, get you need an antenna. Get antenna. You get like 17 channels. I swear to God. No money. <laughs> plus, it, plus, it helps you get into the neighbor's house. <laughs> Picked a lock with it. I saw through his window. He was watching like Bulgarian soccer. And- <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Got dude. money on a game. <laughs> Get himself a new TV if it comes through. Yikes. We're watching yeah, that- a Uzbekistan cooking show. <laughs> That's got to be as a kid, and I can say yes 100%. I have stood there I because I was the youngest, so I had to stand there and hold it and watch it from the side. Mm-hmm. Not the Super Bowl. Went to our cousins for something. <laughs> Good actual learned people with cable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we have, we you know we still don't have cable upstairs at my mom's house, so TVs are kaput. But for the longest time, we had one with rabbit ears that we would move from room to room. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if my brother wanted it or I wanted it or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's. But then every yeah, I do remember that digital converter box. This also it was a big deal. It was like the it was like the real ID of the two uh, thousands. What what it I because I have a this just popped in my head. I have a uh, what would it take. For Back in the day, mm. for you guys to get a new TV, a lot. I'll, you know, because- it was a it did so much that I think it only happened. I mean, the TV that we have downstairs by the by the wood burning stove, we bought that. That's pre nine eleven. That TV, and what's crazy is that he, we can somehow because we have the 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 he has the the cable down there. But we, we he can get Netflix on it, so it has like the app section in it. That's impossible. Pre nine eleven. I'm telling you, that's, that's I don't. It might it might be through the cable box though. That's how it might work. That makes more sense because or you, you got some sort of fire you, stick on it or something. You use the cable. Remote. There's no way a table a TV I'm, from two thousand one has Netflix on it. Was I'm Netflix even you. around? Even the the mailbox Netflix? I think it was just starting to creep around. Yeah, it was just starting to. Dude, that was mailbox Netflix was still like two thousand nine. So it has it has it has the it has the cable box. At one point, were you guys at the head of technology? <laughs> What's going on? Nineteen ninety seven. Netflix started. Yeah. Wow. So listen, what it, year did digital Netflix? Dude, there's what year did smart TVs come out? There's no. This is a smart TV. I'm telling you. But then I, I I understand, but it, okay, I might be wrong. It had to be. It had to be two thousand one. People didn't have cell phones then. Two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. telling me the 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 Foley family. Look, stop googling. You're freaking me out. <laughs> the Foley family had a smart TV seven years before they were invented. That's what you're telling me. Finding this out right now. Good morning. Hey, Tuts, what are you doing? Hey, Patty. Hey, Kevin. How are you, darling? I'm good. All right, enough of the chit-chat. You're on the air. I have a quick question for you. The Panasonic TV... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I saw Kevin on the beach. He looked very relaxed and comfortable. You're looking good, you and the missus. Thank you, Patty. He spent eight grand on a dinner, Ma. (laughs) Half of that could have been yours. Listen, I have a quick question for you. The Panasonic TV that's downstairs. Yes. What year did you buy that? Oh, God, I don't know. Joe Elmo and your brother hooked it up. I went over to... Best Buy and bought it. I the nineties maybe. The nineties. <laughs> so how does yeah. it have Netflix on it? Well, then maybe sometime in the two thousands. Ask your brother. It was definitely before two thousand and seven, right? Oh God, yes. Huh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And Andrew got one. All right, don't start <laughs> blabbing. We're on the air here. I love you. I'll talk to you in a little bit. See you, Patty. My, what was my question? I just asked you, dummy. Oh, okay. 
All right. I love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, Patty. All right. Quit buttering up the boss here. (laughs) She's a good kid. She's got the hots for me, I think. I think what it is is so we have the cable remote and has the voice activated. I can say Netflix into it and it comes up. So maybe it's something through that. Okay. But I'm telling you, she definitely bought that TV. I'm not. It's a fucking Panasonic, for God's sakes. I'm sure. Are they still in business? We're filming on Panasonic cameras. Really? (laughs) Are these (laughs) pre-9-11s? Go USA, huh? (laughs) That's an American company, isn't it? No. Panasonic? I thought that was American. I'm thinking of Zenith. (laughs) Yeah, maybe Zenith. Or RCA, right? Not going not gonna, not gonna to work here anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, yo, you stayed away from Mitsubishi, I'll tell you that. Nah, if you can do a, if you can do a cool car and a, and a TV, I'm out. Nah, my dad was never about that. Okay, let's talk about Bespoke Post. Oh, you mean cool guy stuff for cool dudes? Yeah, it's called Box of Awesome. You ever heard of it, Yeah, dork? I heard of it. I'm a subscriber, and I get it, and don't share with you. Well, that's awesome. So am I. <laughs> I get Whoa. cool guy stuff, too. Yeah. Gang, do yourself a favor. Get over to that uh, bespoke post. Pick yourself up a box of awesome. It's got fantastic stuff. Here's the turkey, too. What's that? They partner with small businesses. Mm-hmm. Top quality stuff. Small business spread around a little bit. Not like those big sharks out there. Yeah. Do yourself a favor. Support local businesses and support people that support the podcast. Yeah, just take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. They'll pick the right box for you. You only pay a fraction of the cost of what these boxes are worth. Plus, like the big man said, every 90% of everything from your box is from a small up-and-coming brand. And they got the cocktail kits right now. <sighs> Real classy. They come hit you with the blowtorch. You smoke up a night. Ni- that's how I, I do my nice. I, I do a nice white claw. I smoke it for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Give it a real oaky taste. Uh, it's free to sign up. You can skip a month or Don't cancel it. Cheese on your grill. <laughs> cheese. Uh, you get twenty percent off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code garbage at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Yeah. Code garbage for twenty percent off your first box. Boxofawesome.com. Code garbage. Do it now. Back to that gosh darn show. Back to the show. I thought Panasonic was an American company. No, nah, they're from Japan, my dude. Really? Isn't it a Sony? Is it under Sony, maybe, or no? No, no, no. Nah, direct competitor. Okay. Huh. I saw a guy with a Panasonic bicycle the other day. I was like, they were That used to be big, I think. Panasonic really? bicycles. Mm-hmm. What? I remember that from like these. We got to fun- diversify here. Get into something. <laughs> you start making TVs. Luke, get on that, will you? You're sitting there doing nothing. I love how Patty was like, we got that in 1923, actually. <laughs> Then she starts dropping names. This broad. She screwballs. She down. also answered that a half a second after you hit send. She was waiting for somebody. <laughs> She's like you, outside having heaters, waiting for someone to call. <laughs> I do like it. That's that's she's my chit chat gal. I know. I get on the phone with her. We start yapping. Sure. Like two broads at a barber shop. <laughs> Love it. Um, because I remember we had that big wooden TV. Like the TV was wooden. I remember my cousins broke one of those. You know out. what I mean? The flat, the first flat screen. No, this wasn't flat screen. No. Oh, you mean what? One of those? Yeah. You were. You remember buying one of those? No, I no, I don't buy. No, we had it. It was We're not there. a big tech family. I don't know if you've picked up on because that. those were real old school. The TV in the wooden thing. Yeah, TV in the wooden box, and it sat on top of like a wooden base. Yeah, those weighed would... about 8,000 oh, pounds. Dude, I remember I can still smell that. Still smell the tubes burning. <laughs> smell the ozone coming <laughs> out of there. Yeah. yeah. Dude, and you would turn it. <laughs> That'll come up on an MRI. Huh? <laughs> Yikes. And Rusty, this is, looking back, it's just crazy. Rusty, my dog, peed all over the front of it, like multiple times. I guess like that was his spot to the. <laughs> he died from a brain tumor six <laughs> weeks later. Too. To the point where the wood on the front of the base was warped. And we replaced the wood. We didn't get a new TV. We re- my stepdad replaced the wood with a like a T like got a two by four, stained it to like kind of match, kind of. But it was off. You could tell right away it was Ooh-wee. off. It was bad. Yeah, no. Looking back, I'm like that was. And then my brother in law, my now brother in law came over. This was this lasted too long, and he was like, "What is?" This, like, this is crazy. And he gave us his old TV. <laughs> is you dating your sister? Yeah. He hey, must have been mean? like, what are these yokels doing? They he's, got a pee TV he's, over he's here. He's a teenager. No, he was 20. I mean, this was like, re- like, 
<laughs> this is of modern era of my family. He was he's dating my sister. Yikes! They were in college. I was in high school. Maybe I don't know. Man, look they're at bad you. with the TVs, and it's in a big room. And the one they got now is like. It's like a 32 inch. You walk in, it looks like a hospital. We had a proper entertainment center with the, the, okay, remember the Sony TVs? They were black. They were still deep and they were heavy, but it was like kind of new. It wasn't a flat screen. No, those pan, I remember those pan, well, they were Panasonic, the silver ones, right? They were still at the big back, but they were silver. Uh, those flat screens. Yeah. No, we never, we skipped that. Yeah, we, so we, did we. We missed that. We had the old, I mean, it's not old, but it was like, you know, late 90s, early 2000s, the black Sonys that had the deep and they had the they still had the bubble. Kind of. That was in an entertainment center with a stereo that wasn't hooked up mm -hmm. that just had speaker wire running throughout sure. the house. We had that until. I don't know, I want to say 10, 15 years ago, it was the downstairs that got that got the hookup that got that Panasonic. And that thing's still going strong. Yeah. Shout out to American Engineering. <laughs> Shout out to American Japanese Engineering. Thank God my father died not knowing that. <laughs> I, I they thought think... he was a fine American. <laughs> I think so. Just tell him it's made in the USA. He'll pay extra for it. <laughs> but he would. He, he would have had to known that because he had a Panasonic reel to reel machine that he got in uh, that he got in Vietnam. That was like his prized possession. Mm -hmm. I think my mom threw it out. Got it in Vietnam. What else do you need to know? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He he would have known. I'm surprised he did that. So he thought. I mean, in your world, you thought he thought he was buying an American product because, in Vietnam. Because I remember thinking to myself, Panasonic is shitty. Why didn't you get like a fucking uh, Sony or something like that? And I assume the reason that he got the Panasonic is he thought it was Just stood up and saluted the flag. Salute I didn't fight for this country. <laughs> Salute the TV every morning. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it has Netflix on it. Okay. It's got to be through the cable. It's yeah, something. You got some sort of a day, or your times are off. I mean, you, you said just you, heard her. I don't. She believe said it was her. before 2007. She also said I looked good at the beach. I don't know what that is. And I don't know how she saw that. Is she on Instagram? <laughs> She's all over the place. She snoops around a couple burners. Accounts. You got a couple finstas. Yeah. Okay. She don't know what's going on. Um. All right. Let's see here. This is from Jimbo Slice. Ten dollar loan shark. Respect that. There you go. Uh. Did your mom have you light her cigs for her when you were a kid? Broad had me cranking heaters at seven. Why? To light maybe driving. That's maybe like I'm driving. Light me a cig. Nah. That's real garbage. That's, that's it makes rough. me feel fancy. Yeah, I got a sig boy. That it had to be while driving. I never liked that though. What? For as gross as I am, I never liked sharing sigs. The the, the wetness. Oh no! I would never want somebody to like that for me and then take it. Ugh. Mm -mm. Gross me out. No, I don't. Uh, I'm trying to think of like when my I mom, would hand them. I would hand them. I'd maybe. Maybe my aunt would let me light hers every once in a while, but in her mouth, not me giving it to her. Like a man of the night. <laughs> oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. No, he there said she had me cranking heaters. I think he would light them oh, for her. I was thinking he was like a bartender. No. <laughs> <laughs> old man breaking your stones, huh? Do the one hand over yeah. top. That's how you know you're getting laid. You do that. When's the last time you little lady cigarette? Probably my wife when she smoked. Huh. I did it not that long ago. Somebody asked me for a smoke, and then I, I lit it for them. Yeah. There's a homeless guy, but yeah, still. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. No. Uh-uh. No, usually I'd keep the lighter. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got I got six on me. <laughs> keep them. <laughs> keep them. I don't like, yeah. That's crazy. That's nuts. Lighting smokes for your... Ooh, what the fuck? I think my dad obviously found out I, but we still didn't really smoke. All the kids and cousins of my generation. It was always it, hidden. It was always. It still is. They still like at a wedding. It's like me. And they're like, hey, you got to go on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Everything was always hidden. I was always the one jumping on the grenade. Everybody was drinking. Everybody was smoking. But mm -hmm. it was always hidden. Crazy. And those Irish. Yeah. It's a lot of, our, you know, yeah. I don't like people knowing their business. I know. 
It is what it is. I don't is. want anybody to know I'm drunk. Uh-huh. Don't let anybody know I'm drunk or having heaters. It's a little bit funner, though, to be honest with you. What? Well, it's, well, 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 it's... No, the, I mean, the booze in our family's out. I mean, that's out and about. Unless you got a problem, then you hide it. <laughs> Unless it's like a real problem. Then, you know. You get on the radar. When yeah. people are having afternoon coffees. <laughs> you, there's a couple members of my family you see walking around with a Wawa cup after noon. <laughs> that, ain't <laughs> that ain't a mocha latte, <laughs> all right, buddy? <laughs> I'm talking heavy bike. <laughs> Vodka with a splash of heaven, him. <laughs> yeah, that's um. All right, uh, this one's from Lewis. Twenty dollar homie. First time go. asking, is it garbage to take your shoes off in a movie theater? Ooh. Yeah, I kind of get it though. If it's not crowded, I can kind of get it. The only but thing yeah, that, it's trash. The thing that keeps me from doing that is pure fear. Because something grabbing your piggies. There's mice and rats in movie theaters. Mm -hmm. All that candy everywhere. It's true. They're everywhere. A lot of candy. Yeah. I remember in the 90s being in a couple of movie theaters over there in Montgomery County and like seeing mice and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Nah, never take my shoes off there. I didn't think of that. That makes sense. Mm -mm. Mouse Um, running on your piggies. No, thank you. Oh, man, a heavy bike lizard jumped out of the fucking bushes the other day when I was down on vacation. I was going to say where? <laughs> Washington Heights. <laughs> Stay out of the Bronx, huh? Oh, Yikes. Man, and I thought he was coming in the pool. And <laughs> well, how heavy bike? Like a little salamander? No, like a lizard. Komodo? Not that. <laughs> Enough to. How big? That big? bigger with tail bigger what the fuck yeah. what kind of hotel were you staying at <laughs> it was probably like fr- but the, it was thick it was like a oh i would have freaked dude, the fuck i would have left this thing jumped off like out of a bush onto like down a ledge onto the side of the pool dude and i was paralyzed dude, <laughs> I could, uh, dude I almost, they have claws on them too did you ever see that video of the one swimming in the pool nope. that's what i pictured those are real scary i could that's a certain kind of lizard and you know you can't move quick in a pool you not know? against that no. it's like playing against lebron are you kidding me <laughs> think it break your ankles in two seconds Man. i like the little salamanders no. the ones that we saw down down in florida they're still unpredictable i think they're cute and they can't really bite you and i think yeah. it's cool to see he gets his daddy they <laughs> comes back with the mamas and the papas. You're end up, dude. But they look they look like little baby dinosaurs, and I like that. I think it's cute. But at a certain point, anything bigger than that, now anything thing, bigger than an action figure, I'm out. This thing was like, did you ever see that scene? They're too prehistoric, man. That's a goddamn dinosaur. I know. This thing looked like the thing that got Newman in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Easy, big fella. <laughs> this thing opened up and, and spit at me. That's the way I felt in Hawaii, driving around the big island in that Jeep. That's very It true. was pouring rain, hey, too. You got a can of shaving cream? <laughs> the entire time. Filled with, filled, I swear to God. I was in that exact saw? scene. I was driving down a, the darkest road ever uh-huh. in a Jeep, and it was pouring rain. The entire mm-hmm. time you were talking about Hawaii on hard feelings, I, I pictured you as Newman oh, in Jurassic Park. Man, it's no, there's no streetlights. Crazy. <laughs> um, uh, let's. All right, this one's from Jeremy. Is it garbage used IKEA bags and suitcases? Took a weekend trip up to Northern PA and saw a family loading their van for vacation. The whole family was using IKEA bags. Not in the car, I don't think. I don't. It, taking that to an airport is a little trash. Here's my thing. I also checked two duffel bags. <laughs> And one was filled with Trader Joe snacks. Oh, my God. They don't have them over there. Yeah, I checked two duffel bags. Where's your luggage? You have every time we, we travel minimum once a month. I meet you at an airport. Every time you have a di- you have different luggage. Every single time you have different luggage. Uh, what's going on? And it's never new. It's never like, hey, I got a new suitcase. You always have old luggage. I got to keep those airport dogs. <laughs> <laughs> keep them guessing. Hey, Foley, why does your bag smell like coffee? Yeah. What are you doing? What's your go-to right now? I have one. Ikea bag. <laughs> <laughs> Those reusable bags, though, man. That's what you're supposed to do with the them. The Ikea bag, This here's my thing. I'm a big They're Ikea great. bag. All the Ikea bags in here are mine. You know who's starting to skimp a lot? <laughs> that was the fastest you've ever shook and kippy off your tail. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. Like blowing a light in Chinatown, baby. <laughs> I, I well like I, 
I know how to negotiate, and if he isn't giving anything up, you go, all right, there's, it's, we're going to enter, we're either going to enter a real deal. I had fight. that bag. I had that thing with me. It's just, I had. But either- where were you? You just brought that huge suitcase, and we were laughing at the size of a silver suitcase that was old. When was this? What silver suitcase? The one that I just brought? I don't remember. No, you have, I, you have I a had lot. that. I had that old one. The one we were making. We had one not too long ago that we were making fun of you for. I think we threw that out. I have a nice roller now, but it's broke. So it's not nice. <laughs> See, I, this is what I'm talking. I got to get a new one. You but, only live in the reality he of the facts he gives you. The duffel bag. <laughs> I need it because I had shoes and stuff for for the wedding that I had to go to. Yeah, shoes don't fit in regular suitcases. Not in mine. I go, dude, those T-shirts take up a lot of room, dude. <laughs> it's like flying with parachutes. It is, man. They're huge. Sure. Plus, I had a pair of pants. It's crazy. You had to send those FedEx. These five, they're heavy, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, they don't fit. Uh-huh. Okay. So. All right. I think the IKEA back to the back to the original point. I think in I, the car. I think it's okay in the car if you're going to your mountain house, your shore house, sure. an aunt's house, a cousin's house. Checking in with one of those things at an airport that's or a, a tough hotel, look. Yeah, sure. That's a but you don't rough. bring that into the lobby with you. You park if you're driving. You park. You go in there like a gentleman with your briefcase, sure. handcuffed. And then when hands. they give you the key, you go out. And then you bring. Sure. You wait until the you wait until nightfall to sneak in the bodies. <laughs> And the other four relatives that you got with you. <laughs> but you know who's skimping on that stuff? To, and first of all, I don't mind paying a dollar or whatever for those. But let's go. Target, they give you the shittiest, smallest bags. They really cut back on that stuff. They're not. They could be bigger. They should they're, be bigger. They're, they're decent quality. Companion. Ikea doesn't screw around. They're made out of tarp, too. Yeah. You put anything in there. Mm-hmm. Just carry rocks in that thing. Got They're all right. Shirts, yeah. They're all right. Huh. Uh, I like those IKEA bags. Yeah, I've been shopping a lot at Target recently. They the worst bags ever. I like them. Now they're all right. Plus, you can never find them and all that stuff. What? They're never right there. You got to ask somebody. You do the self checkout. You don't do the self checkout. I do the self checkout. They're right there every time I go. Go the wrong one, I guess. Dude, the one in, they opened up like that. The, there's the ones in New York that aren't proper targets. They're like mini targets. I hate that. Oh God, it's like a knife fight in those places. Yeah, I hate it. Everything's locked up. Yeah. Travel size deodorant locked up yeah. at my Target. What are we doing? I hate that. Can't we let? Can't that be stolen? They're my favorite videos when the employees. Stand up to the p- dudes doing that. Sure. When they come in with like a trash bag and take all the stuff and they, 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 they gang tackle them at the mm-hmm. door. Oh, I love that. What is that? What or like some old lady pushes like, what are you doing? Yeah. Because they're, that, they're the reason that, that all that stuff's locked up. Sure. Bullshit. Uh-huh. Is there that much of a market for that? Are you buying street deodorant? <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. I only buy American-made Panasonic deodorant. <laughs> Sell drugs, man. What are we doing? Yeah. Crazy. Um, all right. Let's see. I think we have time for a couple of more here. Um, this one's from Coochie Man. That's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> all right. <laughs> Shout out to Coochie Man. That's all right. Uh, is it garbage that your family's preferred method of fishing is using a product called the Chillin' Reel? <laughs> for context, it's a beer koozie with a reel attached to it. Which I have seen on Shark Tank, <coughs> and I think they did get a deal. How do you cast with that? It's like a little, it's like, imagine holding like a mug or a coo- uh-huh. like whatever, and then there's just like a little spool here. So, I don't know. You snap it out? Like your beer spill? I don't know. Spear bill? I don't know. I feel like beer would I get I guess you everywhere. cast and then put it in. Okay. So then you, it's so you can hold and reel at the same time. It feels like that'd be messy. T- T- you gotta, I think the you idea is Google that it's that? not messy. I think I think negotiating a fishing rod, if I remember the pitch correctly, mm-hmm. a fishing rod and a beer at the same time is hard. But it's who- a beer koozie that you can catch fish with. Mm-hmm. It's probably the greatest product I've ever seen. It by seems time. like a good time. <laughs> I can't I mean, see Mr. I can't made- see Mr. Wonderful going in on that. No, I think Damon did because he's a fi- he's a he's like a uh. avid fisherman. Also. Coochie Maine sounds like a great guy. You know who he I probably like, knows a good time. You know who I like on that show? That Lori. Man. Yeah. Something else. Set of gazongas on her. <laughs> the money, classy. Uh, yeah. All right. You know who's... Uh, and Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Wonderful's all right. I like that Robert Herjavec. Is he the guy in the end? Yeah. 
Sharp. The good, guy. Sharp guy. Looking, dude. Sharp. Dressed. Yeah. Well dressed. Yugoslavian, I think he was. I'm going Mr. Wonderful, I think. Really? Yeah. Bit of a prick. I like that. Hard nosed business. That's why we're man. friends. <laughs> <laughs> you fat piece of shit. <laughs> I'll plug the Patreon. Will Cuban, you? I think it'd be all about him. Yeah, I mean, I think it's tough to Plus, be a billionaire. Plus, lose the jeans, will you? I think it's tough. Goddamn to be... business meeting here. Uh, I think all billionaires are pretty much all about them. I would assume. Sure. Think if you're just the, you're the coolest dude amongst cool dude, like, or yeah. you're the most important guy among important people. If you were a billionaire, would you would you would you go more uh, Mr. Wonderful sharp suit, or would you go the Cuban route with the the jeans and the and the blazer? I don't even think I would go that. Just Cute. make it. I would just rock whatever I'm rocking. I would just, just spit on millionaires. Yeah. Nicer yeah. versions of what I have. I'd get it just maybe cooler black T-shirts. <laughs> A cooler pair of Nikes. Hey, you were in Target. <laughs> no, this is a uh... classic. True classic. Sure. Yes. <laughs> it's exactly who it is. Maybe this week. Maybe <laughs> it's not. I'm not sure. All right, this one's from Alec. Uh, Ten dollar homie, never had one read. Taking your kids with you regularly while working Uber Eats or something similar, garbage or not? I mean, you do what you got to do. If you're hemmed up. You're hemmed up. Yeah. I had to go to work a lot with my parents. Me too. I, I remember used... sitting in a doctor's office with my mom, being like, "I, this is weird that I'm in here." I had me looking at a microscope and shit. Man, uh, my mom was a manager at uh, the Gap at the Wyoming Valley Mall. And in the summer, I would say that my brother and I went to work with her more often than not. Yeah. You got to. Yeah. And uh, I tell you what, as a little kid, it wasn't that bad. It was a pretty sweet mall. All right. Oh, yeah. The mall all day as a kid? They had a oh, super fuck. pretzel, soft pretzel next next to them or mm-hmm. some kind of shop that had that. And a picture with a photo with your face on it that said no more free samples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I remember I didn't know how to add. Uh, Ad. Yes, at the time. And I'd stolen money out of my mom's purse. And I went over there. This is all making sense. And I think I had 10 pennies. And I thought the pennies were dimes. And I didn't have enough to get a pretzel. And she shooed, the lady shooed me away. Because mm-hmm. it was the first time and that, that I was had- the first day I ate pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was very similar to the Taco Bell, the Taco Bell thing, or the um, the Wendy's thing with the cheese fries. This was the first time that I What's... knew. A couple of weeks ago, I told you that the first time I had cheese fries was at a Wendy's, and they wasn't on the menu. They just had oh, the cheese sauce for the potato. Yeah, the chef, they yeah. had the cheese sauce for the potato, and somebody showed me that you, you can dip it. This was the first time I came across that people were dunking their soft pretzels and cheese because they had the little cups of cheese, and you remember the. The super soft pretzel case, they'd have a couple cups of cheese in there. That's yeah, what, I know. That's what I was trying to get my hands on, but I didn't have enough. Dip my wiener in cheese if they let me. Ooh. I would love to see your list of, like, man's greatest achievement, like the Hydrogen Collider, you know, landing on the moon, cheese for your pretzels. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'd say it's up there. I mean, it changed my life, I yeah. should say. The icy thing that spins around is pretty sweet, too. Let you know it's in the store. <laughs> They it's put, always high up. Oh, too. yeah. It's like a gas station on a highway. Woo! They go for top billing. He can see that in sporting goods or housewares. <laughs> you know where it is. You know where to find me. Just trying, I'm just trying to somehow navigate my way over to that so I can <laughs> throw a tantrum. Get my hands on a cherry icy. Yeah. Like a gentleman. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's do this. And we got to wrap her up. This is from JJ. Is it garbage? Or- <clears throat> Sorry. Is it garbage to only set your microwave cook time using add 30 seconds? Why key in three minutes when you can just hit that sucker six times? That's crazy. Really? That's all I operate. Wait, what do you mean? So you're putting something in there for two? You're going to stand there like a dickhead. What do you mean? I don't think I understand the question. Okay. So a lot of, like, by growing up, we had easy minute, where you just press one button, easy minute, and that starts it for one minute. Yes. And then I would, if, it was a, if it called for two, three minutes, you just hit that two or three times. This guy's got an add 30 seconds button. Oh, so okay. he just presses that six times. So he's not waiting until it doesn't go 30 seconds stops. You got to hit it again. No, he just 30. goes beep, 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 and he's out the door. Totally cool with that. But I'm I a thought, fan of that. I thought every button represented a minute. I what? think if you hit the three, three minutes come up. No, because a lot of them you have to enter time. A lot of them you have to go like set time. No, but I thought they all had easy buttons, and it wasn't just one minute. It was if you hit the two, it was two minutes. The three was three minutes. 
I'm pretty sure we always rocked like that, except for the first one we had. I don't know. That was in like 87. That was real old. That was a huge deal. It was the size of our kitchen. Mm -hmm. My dad got it for my mom for Christmas. It was the biggest deal ever. The whole neighborhood came over to see this thing. Yeah. It was wild. That's, uh, we always had the, we had a KitchenAid one because when we uh, moved to that house, it was like a new house and that was like my mom's kitchen. But then we kept that up until, uh, we kept that for 30 years probably. Crazy. And then just got a new one. See that American engineering right there. I don't know who we have now. <laughs> Panasonic, maybe? I don't know who it is. <laughs> we got to wrap it up, though. Gang, we love you to death. Come see us on the road. The dates are up. The shows are selling out, so do yourself a favor. <laughs> Grab those texts, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.